of fourth graders at Fourthville Elementary are showing off their work. WRTV's Kelsey Anderson is live this morning with a project that really immersed these young students in their community. And you have some food for thought on this Monday morning. <laughs> Kelsey, good morning to you. Hey, good morning. So we're having lots of fun here at Fortville Elementary. I got these two to get up early with me this morning. And so I want you to take a look at what they've done here. They've created a replica of the town of Fortville. So Mallory, tell me what was your favorite part of this project? My favorite part was probably working with your partner because like you got you got to like decorate with your partner partner you got to learn about what building you did and then you also got to like pick out like your boxes and all that sorts of stuff and so you had town hall so tell me what did you learn about town hall you had a speaker come in and tell you what they do there right yes so what I learned about town hall is that there's this guy named Mr. Z and he like gets to like name some streets he like named like most of the streets in Mount Vernon North too wow and what would you name a street if you had that job um, probably like Mount Vernon Gold Drive or something. See, I think you should go for Mallory Way or Kelsey Drive, something fun like that. And so, Dominic, you tell me, which house did you do? Um, I did the Fortville It House. The Fortville It House. So, some people might not know what the Fortville It House is if they're watching. Tell me what the It House is. So, it's a house based on the It movie. Yeah. And so, what was your favorite part of the project? Um... Working with a partner and seeing the It House come to life. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, thank you for being here. Now, another thing that's cool about this project is they get to talk to business owners. So I'm going to cut in front of the camera. We're here with Larry this morning. Larry owns Maduro on Main. So, Larry, tell me what it's like for you for this project and to be a part of it. This is one of my favorite projects of the year. It's local Main Streets and schools are intertwined across the country, and this just showcases that. And it's just fun to see the project every year. Yeah, and so here's your business. That's my, How that's close exactly were they to getting it? Almost oh. identical to my building. <laughs> <laughs> so you feel like you're right here in Fortville. And so you've been a part of this project for since it's started. Yes, so tell me how you've seen it um, you know, grow over the years. Well, it's, it's like I said, every class is different. The, the, the interview is great. In fact, I interviewed Sophia Wagner, who's probably the next Kelsey Anderson. She's very good. <laughs> They'll do a little question and answer, and then they put this together, and then we don't see it until it's done. So this is the first time I've seen this, and it's, uh, yeah, every year it gets a little bigger. Uh, I, I love it. That's, That's awesome. so much fun. Well, thank you so much for being here this morning. So as you can see, we're showing you right here. This is what Fortville looks like, almost an exact replica. So this is going to be up throughout the entire week, and they're going to start adding lights and things like that. Um, so it's going to be just an immersive project that they're going to continue working on until winter break. Raphael. So a shout out to the creativity of all the educators there in Fortville using this to excite kids about science and math. One question for you, since you are the official face of Fortville, it is your hometown. Quickly show us your favorite gingerbread creation. Do you have a favorite? Take oh, us down Main Street. Pick my, one. And Carl says, speed my it up. favorite is this one. I'll have to come on. Speed I'll have to go fast. Come on, Eldon, follow me. My favorite is Red Ranch. I just think that they did a really good job. It looks almost identical. I love the Christmas trees in front. So that one's probably my favorite. Hometown girl enjoying her hometown gingerbread houses. Bring one back to WRTV. Thank you, Kelsey Anderson, for always uh, <laughs> making us smile and bringing us a fun story here on WRTV.